Hi, Bob Allison here, WB1GCM ARRL test engineer here in the ARRL laboratory screen room. I'd like to introduce to you the Elecraft XG3 single source signal generator. This is Elecraft's XG3 ARV signal source. This is a signal generator, just like the big ones in the laboratory, except you program one of these 12 channels to a frequency, so you have 12 memory channels. One can be set up for each radio amateur band from 160 through 2 meters. And you can change memory channels like this with the up button. Here, that's 160 meters. I can go all the way up to 2 meters. Down here are the popular levels used for testing. Um, we'll start with minus 107 dBm. That's one microvolt, a one microvolt signal. That's a kind of a standard in test measurements. Then we have next is uh, 73 dBm. That's typically what S9 is in a typical transceiver on your S meter. That equals 50 microvolts. And then uh, we have minus 33 dBm. That represents a signal of 40 dB over S9. And for those with really dead receivers, <laughs> or if you want to really give your uh, receiver a strong input, we hold the level button down, and now we have a 0 dBm level signal. That equals about a milliwatt of power. That's, uh, that's quite a strong signal. Um, so uh, four different levels. Uh, here's your on-off button over here. Okay, turn it back on again. And the up-down buttons also feature uh, a... a uh, a scan you can actually sweep uh, between one frequency and another it allows for two sweep channels here uh, one and two well let's take a look at the software uh, the software was very easy to load I like that and we're going to click on the operate uh, tab up here and we have the 12 memory channels uh, 1.82 megahertz for 160. These are all the factory defaults that you see here that automatically are programmed into the XG, XG3 uh, Elecraft single source signal generator. So even if you don't have a PC, it'll come with these frequencies pre-programmed. But you can configure each of these channels to any frequency you want between 1.5 and 1.4 gigahertz. Now the levels are calibrated between 1.5 and 200 megahertz. Uh, after that it uses harmonics to get the signal all the way up to 1.4 gigahertz. So we can type in any frequency you want here, set OK, and you're in business. We can edit the sweep frequencies here. Uh, sweep 1, we can I have it programmed to sweep the bottom portion of the uh, 40 meter band. I can set the sweep time here and there's my second sweep set up. So I can hit either one or the other and it'll sweep those settings. Um, automatic time off. You can program it to shut off uh, at any length. So that way it saves the battery in case you forget to leave it on. The calibration factor. This is great because I happen to have a, a GPS locked frequency counter and I was able to adjust this figure to get the XG3 to be just about just about spot on on all the different frequencies that were programmed into it. So the accuracy of this uh, signal generator is very good. Well, one other thing I'd like to show you, if this uh, LED blinks, that means that the battery is getting low inside the signal generator, which is a typical 9 volt battery. So I'll go back to another level here, minus 33, 40 dB over S9. Let's see how the XG3 sounds over an old receiver. It has a nice tone to it, but I'll remind you that the output of this generator is a square wave. So that's a quick look at Elecraft's XG3 RF signal source signal generator.